Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We are live, and in effect, it is a Sunday night, and you know what that means, unless you don't know what that means. As all as one now is here saying hello, that means that the markets are opening up in Asia, and that's the first time that we'll get a glimpse of what the markets will be doing. And so we start out a little bit early to kind of go through this. We're going to start out just before the markets do open in just about five minutes to get a, a comment here from Kuna Coins, who has showed up here. Good to see you, Kuna Coins. Welcome, America Silver Patriot, who was here. posted a great video today. Check out his channel, America Silver Patriot. Did a great, nice, relaxing video with his friend there sitting on the porch. Yes, indeed. So check him out. The good guy. Great channel there, America Silver Patriot. Welcome. And good to see Joey here in Stacker 2020 from the United Kingdom. Welcome. And good to see you. All right. Very good. Bobcat Bren. So Kuna Coin says, to be completely honest, I have Sal Yankee and others channels for opening my eyes uh, to precious metals now. I have over 300 ounces of silver and 5 ounces of gold. Now that is a good, well-diversified stack, I believe. Nicely done, Kuna Coins. A strong uh, stack there for sure. Well done, my friend. And the lovely Gold Chick Vibafell is here. Hello, Gold Chick. Good to see you. Colonic Stacker's here. Chris Easter is here. Nice to see you. Kenneth M. Welcome to Kenneth M. And Silver Honda drives a blue Honda. But his name is Silver Honda. And my guess is he's going to make a nice meal for his lovely bride. Yes, indeed. I predict that's what's going to be happening. And that will be what pulls him away from this live stream. And we can't fault him for that. But for now, he's here with us. Jeff Kone is here. Good to see you. And Silver Wolverine says, get ready for silver and gold markets to go way down due to awesome job numbers. Well, you know, as you guys know, I posted a correction video for that uh, for the other video. Um, and, uh, and it's still some good news, I believe. Because even though the numbers are 3% higher to 16 that's still a step in the right direction. So yes, I hope you're right, Silver Wolverine. And you know what? Uh, my correction video that outlines some news has not really made big news yet, believe it or not. So uh, you you very well could be right. And I hope the numbers get uh, do well for sure. Hello, Silver Point. Trevor Points, good to see you. So very good. Good comment, Kuna Coins. Thank you so much. Jefferson said, just saw a video today saying the dollar is a strong... And is moving up with gold. Yeah, we've kind of have seen that as of late. A strong dollar and higher gold and silver prices for sure. And that's not necessarily out of the ordinary too much. As typically that's not the case. But that has been known to happen before. Tony says, um, do we ever know all the facts? Food and water are consumed uh, due to pain. If you don't eat, uh, you feel weak and need it to feel comfortable. Not consuming food and water out of fear. Food and water consumption is completely to feel good and avoid hunger pain. Uh, well, that's true. Yeah, that's right. It is sort of uh, ingrained in us. But, you know, uh, if we get to the point where we're feeling that hunger pain, um, sooner or later fear will sit in. Most of us don't feel that high of hunger, hunger pain because food is available. But nonetheless, um, yeah, sooner or later fear is going to hit that. But you make a good point, Tony. Very good. Dale Val is here. Good to see you. Justin Sartain is here. Justin, uh, he thinks the gold and silver will go down when China announces how much gold they have. Yes. Well, the thing is, is China may announce, but who do we believe? We, I know we, you know, people don't believe the uh, U.S. BLS numbers. Should they believe China's numbers, right? And I don't know. Uh, but we'll see here. All right. Very good. Oh, man, I inspired musically my Sunday. Very good. Thanks, Joey. Appreciate that. And good to see Hi Steve is here. Hello, Hi Steve. Welcome, my friend. Where's Barb? We got Rock and Rod here. We can, where's Barb? And we I need some others too to pop in. All right. Very good. We got Cyber Curtain Twitcher here, though. That's good. So, Kuna Coin Sal, this is me putting my technical neck on the line. We are in the Melta phase. You see, I was a collector, investor, and banker. Oh, okay. Wow. Man. Yes, indeed. The Malta, Malta phase. Thank you, Kuno Coins. Peter Bartoldus says, Sal, have you been looking into the U.S. Smith bullion sales numbers for 2020? It doesn't seem to reflect this supposed huge demand for coins with high premiums for eagles. Well, yeah, I did see some of those, and 
they were up a lot. Yeah, they were up especially for Silver Eagles. For sure. Uh, Kalanick Stacker MMA matchup. Uh, Testament guitarist Eric Peterson versus Senator and Patriot Tom Cotton. I like, man, I'll tell you what, that's a tough one because I like Eric Peterson and write some great riffs, especially on their last couple of albums. And uh, yes, indeed, and Tom Cotton's a good senator. I'm going to have to say it's going to be a rare time where it's a draw. I'm going to say it's a draw. Sal will not divide us. Sal will not divide us. Sal will not divide us. That's right. Remember that old chant after Trump got elected? There was these... He will not divide us. That's what uh, Alan Gold's referring to. And don't let me divide you. Silver Wolverine, your video got me riled up yesterday. I almost posted a poor rant video about it, touting the jobs numbers, but I deleted it. Probably would have lost 20 or more subs. Well, there's somebody posted this thing to um, Shadow Stats, Silver Wolverine. But, you know, it's some guy associated with it, John Williams or something like that. But, hey, are we going to trust some guy? Compared to the BLS, Return to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm, you know, I, I'm i skeptical of the government, too, the, the, uh, the, some of the postings. But, you know, you have to have some reference point, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Tay Jones, thanks for the information and analysis. I've seen a few of your videos recently and just subbed in the middle of this video. Good fortune and health to you. Well, thank you, Tay Jones. Very kind of you indeed. I appreciate it. Welcome as a new subscriber and thank you for watching. Yes, indeed. Medium Man is here. Native Stacker is here. Native Stacker, good to see. Uh, yeah, all right, very good. You know what BLM stands for, don't you? Bureau of Labor Matters. That's right. Very, very good. All right, let's see here. Let's get a couple more comments here and then we will take a look at the markets which are just opening. Herva Middleton, in Venezuela, if you have one gold coin, you are a rich man in such a way. Yes, I tell you what, if you do hold some gold and silver in, uh, in Venezuela, if you can some, find some way to liquidate it for the things you need, you're doing well. Bend over. What do you mean I don't like to buy gold? What do you think I'm broke? Da -da 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 -da. You got it. Some Megadeth fans out there that got the reference for this. And Burkhard Doms is buying. All right, very good. So what's going to happen out of the starting gate with the markets, folks? We're going to find out right now with Sterling Cannabis. All right, very good. The markets are open now. And uh, they are uh, down a little bit. So Silver Wolverine is a little bit right out of the starting gate. They're down a little bit. Crazy. Wow. Down uh, just slightly. Down gold is down two dollars and thirty cents. Silver is down four cents. Platinum is down two bucks. Palladium is up twenty five dollars. Wow. Gold Hudson thirteen this year. Salvation Nation loyal followers and passers through just stopping to buy the same MAGA twenty twenty preach to all the bust ass blue collar workers and never stopped working during the pandemic. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. Yes. Indeed. And even some of us white collar folks are working through the pandemic too, gold, gold hustling. But yes, indeed. God bless you. Thanks for popping in. All right. Gold hustling. Very good. Pathfinder. Very good. Pathfinder's here. $2 super chat. Appreciate that. Um, why do certain people hate Silver Wolverine? I don't know. What's to hate? Silver Wolverine is awesome. I will always defend Silver Wolverine. He's a great guy for sure. A good guy. Barbara Carbone is here. Mm. Yes, indeed. Good to see Barbara, Juan Ortiz, Sterling Cannabis, Native Stacker. Yes, indeed. And Spook Spacey. Good to see you. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Very good. Let's see. So there's where the, uh, there's where the numbers are. I'll just start gate. Palladium is the only one that's actually up. So, yeah, we'll see here. Very good. Very good. All right, check the stock market. I don't have the stock where the futures are. Are they stock market continue to rise for the futures of the market? I wouldn't be surprised, which means that the news that I posted may not have made its way. But I wouldn't be surprised if somebody makes a um, makes a uh, uh, some sort of play on Trump on this, blaming him for you know doing the numbers or what have you. Mister Paradise says I'm not buying PMs out of fear. I'm buying them as savings vehicle. I have no illusion that PMs will make me rich, 
but they might keep me from becoming poor. There you go, exactly right. If everything else, if everything goes well, I'll leave my PMs to my heirs. Everything goes to crap, maybe I'll be able to afford to eat. There you go. I think that's the correct attitude to have when you accumulate uh, the the precious metals for sure. Very good. Good to see you guys. A Rocky Superstar says, howdy. Jerigus the late Regus is here. Bill 457, good to see you. It's all good. Welcome to you. All right. And by the way, I want to say a thanks again to Pathfinder for that uh, super chat. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, um, yes, indeed. Uh, that's going to go towards the uh, going to go towards the some new equipment coming up here. Very very good. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Howdy howdy. Uh, it takes a small self-centered individual to try and make a play off of Black Lives Matter and a little. Like, oh, we're having a little fun. B L M Bureau of Labor Statistics Matter stacking a pack and how's that? This, the, the Black Lives Matter uh, movement was founded upon a lie, my friend. Yes, I talked about that the other night. Um, I am definitely anti-Black Lives Matter for sure, but I'm not anti-black. I believe in all um, races being completely equal, but I don't follow movements that are, that are based on a complete and utter lie. And that's exactly what Black Lives Matter is. <clears throat> Yes, indeed. But we support equality here and uh, for everybody. <clears throat> All right. Very good. Uh, Black Powder Production says, Federal Reserve note, a note is nothing more than an IOU. If it isn't, if it isn't now, it will lose its purchasing power. It's inevitable. Question is, how long? Yes, that's right. And that's just it. It's really a matter of how long can it last. You know, we got all these dollars going out all over the all over the place um and uh they're mainly in europe a lot of these dollars are going out in into europe and the like but they're they're not um uh if they haven't been re repatriated back and that's just it 60 percent of the world uh, of nations out there use the dollar as a kind of that reserve currency for sure yes indeed <clears throat> yeah uh, yes, yeah, stacking and packing. Research the founding of the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Well, it's suppressed by the major media. Um, and, and I'm not saying that some of the people that are uh, protesting on the streets aren't good-natured or uh, have good intentions, but the actual movement itself has got some, eh, it's got some uh, bad... Uh, bad things as ties associated with it and it really was founded upon a lie and uh that's why when people criticize us for saying all lives matters i think that's the reason why and uh yeah it's definitely it's got some bad ties to it uh, hillbilly prepping says fear or being smart if you're well stocked you'll have very little fear that's right <clears throat> Let's see here. Walter Lyons says, I'm buying for fear in the industrial future for silver, playing both sides of the fence. All right, there you go. And see, that's just it. You know, um, people have different reasons for buying. In fact, a lot of people buy out of speculation in the ETFs. You know, a lot of people, uh, ETFs, exchange traded funds, uh, people will uh, work their magic there and make moves. If silver moves up a certain way, they can sell. In fact, that's where probably a lot of the people uh, make the case for manipulation because people are taking movements of the price. If they've got, you know, let's say a thousand shares of uh, of silver, let's say, and it goes down fifty cents or goes up fifty cents, uh, they can make a move and and cash out and do fairly well with a low transaction fees. You don't have to worry about premiums and the like. All right, very good. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Italian G, that's right. Anti-police brutality. That's what we're talking about. And that's really the thing we should be uh we should be protesting against for sure. I think there is some of that. Thousand Air Radio. I needed this message. I look forward to the price action tonight live and I look forward to calling around tomorrow morning to see what's available. Well, so far, the prices have come down. Uh, for sure. 
Yes, indeed, they have. In fact, they're coming down a little bit more. 1680 for gold right now, down almost a third of percent. And uh, silver is down seven cents. Platinum is down four dollars. So yeah, it's a platinum's taking the biggest hit here. Uh, stacking and packing, denying someone else's pain. This chicken, I cannot understand how so many people are self-centered that they got to take something and twist it into something about them. Yeah, tell that to the looters. Tell that to the rioters. To tell that to um, people who are, to me, what's been going on with some of these protests. Even though the peaceful, the peaceful protests and the well-meaning people, I'm fine with. Um, but I believe a lot of these people are uh, exploiting George Floyd's name, which is deplorable. I think George Floyd would be horribly uh, um, upset about this, um, even though he doesn't have a perfect track record either. But he didn't deserve what happened to him for sure. But uh, people are exploiting it. The media is exploiting it. And... Uh, and I think that's what's really awful. You know, the media likes to stoke r racial division because it's in their best interest. And I think that is deplorable big time. JT Coins Rings is here. Hello, my friend. Good to see JT. Hello, my friend. Check out JT Coins Rings and um, also um, Urban Lifestyle. They do a show together. Really cool show. So check those guys out. Very cool. Yes, indeed. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, that's Spooky Spacey. Hello, all right, very good. Dow Future is currently up 100. Okay, yeah, wow. So the markets are reacting, you know. I tell you what, uh, I think the news about this thing, I saw that in a Drudge Report, which has uh, decidedly taken a different stance in the last few years, but it was one article I saw about this, um, uh, about this, uh, this jobs numbers and the correction associated with it. They kind of misjudged these numbers, and I don't know what happened. It's it's crazy, um, but uh, they did put a statement out there on that day. But in, in in my view, it should have been better highlighted. Uh, but you know, it's understandable to question the government for sure on certain things. But regardless, it's not having an effect so far on uh, on what uh, Silver Honda is. I mean, Silver Wolverine is telling us about here the. The, the Dow Jones is up. Let's see here. Let's see here. The enslavement of Western civilization holding off. Gold may temporarily go down uh, 1450 or 1500 Not for long, but still. Remember, the stock market will be boosted with printing, etc. for a while. That's a win to go back in. That's right. Yeah, well, let's see. Will it go down that much? We'll find out. As of today, it's kind of uh, going down a little bit here. Uh, but not that. I'd be very surprised if it got down that low, but I sure do hope so. Oh, man. Let's see here. Send me a throwing cannabis. Send me an ounce of gold, and I'll give you a thumbs up. Stacking and packing. You're not going to get it until someone you love is murdered by police. Oh, I get it. I get it. You don't have to tell me that. I... As I said just before, what happened to George Floyd was absolutely indefensible by any stretch, by any measure. Even if he had uh, killed somebody, he was, uh, he was, um, it was a gross injustice. There's no question about that. There's no argument for me on that. For sure. Actually, very good. Yes, indeed. No argument with me there. I sympathize with the whole situation. And I think Terrence Floyd, the brother, made a great statement. He made a great statement about this, all of this uh, uh, violence that's going on, the rioting, the looting, the, uh, the lawlessness, the, the vandalism. All of that's inexcusable. There's no excuse for any of it. It's just as inexcusable as, the, um, as what happened to George Floyd, for sure. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Rion, uh, Dion Ruiz says, uh, the big reset is coming. I bought for the fact that we are going back to Stanford. I didn't need to buy an ounce of gold, but when every bank and country is getting their gold as fast as they can, you know it's time to start converting 5%, 10% gold, silver. All right. Yes. And I don't think that, um, I think a reset, if they do a reset on the, on the, on the dollar, they're going to try their very best to not 
uh, have their hands tied by a gold standard if they can help it. You know what I mean? Let's see. Uh, well, let me do another here. Uh, Cyber Current Twitcher, I do have a little silver and gold on its way, but I have other things to spend my money on right now. Yes, I hear you. Yes, indeed. I, and I think sometimes you got to take a break and, and get some other stuff for sure. Yes, indeed. Silver Husky says, hello. Freedom Stacker is here. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Good to see you. All right, let's see here. Okay, very good. Hello, Silver Stanger. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, I saw Candace Owens' YouTube video. Yes, indeed. I did see that. Yes, indeed. And I know uh, Stacking and Packing George Floyd is not the first. I condemn all the ones that were uh, where there's police brutality. But believe it or not, there's not that much in comparison to, to other things, to other people. If you look at the, the statistics out there and the crime rate and everything like that and where they're at, um, this is a very rare thing. But uh, it's still obviously bad, and it doesn't discount what happened, for sure. It's a uh, it should be um, condemned, and it is being condemned. It was being it was condemned. There's there's no uh, controversy about it, uh, for sure. Savage Stacker says, "Good to see you. Good to see you, Savage Stacker. Happy Sunday, Dove season. Good to see you." Uh, yeah, Drew Brees put his foot in his mouth too with his statement. He sure did. He should have stuck with his original statement. Yeah. Uh, hands up, let's loot. Yeah, exactly. It's insanity. Very good. And believe it or not, there's some people that are actually uh, uh, sympathetic to the looting, which I don't understand. Somebody in Seattle, some, um, I don't know, was, a, was it a, an attorney general from Washington State or something said something about writing is good. I'm like, are you kidding me? Savage Stacker, what do you my salivate metal mug? Salivate metal mug, excited about the thing. Cool, well, thank you, my friend. It's in the action. I don't even have one of those yet. I'm going to get one of those. Thank you. That's cool. All right. Very cool. All right. Let's see here. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Pretenda Johnson, I just bought my 140th ounce of gold today. Keep stacking one ounce of Maple Leaf 2020 for $1,800 on eBay Liberty. Nice job, Pudenda. Wow. You are a stacking machine. Wow. I could only dream of attaining that much gold. That's amazing. Spooky Stacy, good to see you. All right, very good. Yeah, Candace Owens, hottest Republican in 100 years. I'll tell you what, uh, she is absolutely brilliant, Candace Owens is. You guys should check out some of her uh, uh, videos and her rants. She is absolutely amazing. Also, the Hodge twins are also very good. But yeah, Candace Owens, um, very brave, uh, beholden to nobody, says it like it is, uh, for sure. All right, yes. Pudenda Johnson, that's absolutely amazing. 140 ounces of gold. Congratulations. See, everybody goes at their own pace. Everybody goes at their own pace when it comes to stacking. And uh, and that's what it's uh, that's what it's about. You go at your own pace. You go, and, and I guarantee you, even if you have one ounce of gold, you're doing great. Um, a native stacker lives in Minnesota. He lives in the area where this all started, and I don't think that any of the rioting or looting had anything to do with Mr. Floyd's death. I agree. Um, they're just using it, I think, as an ex exploiting it for. It. But it it shouldn't um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be done in his name, or it just shouldn't be done. In period, you know what I mean. And I really do think that he would not be happy with with how things are going out. Yeah, I've heard that they knew each other too, Sterling Cannabis. I heard that as well, that they knew each other for like 11 years. And that might be the motive to why uh, why he was killed. I'm not sure. Um, you know, it's absolutely, he was charged with second degree murder, up to second degree, up degree mur second degree murder. I think that's appropriate for sure. Let's see here. Right, exactly. Oh, man. Uh, Spook Spacey. Hodge twins were supposed to be in my neighborhood six weeks ago. I was going to go see them. Oh, man. Yeah, those guys are funny. They're hilarious. Yes, indeed. Alan Bud. And who wants to buy the $16 silver with a $17 premium? Yeah, I know. I understand. I feel you on that. Um, those premiums will not go down a whole lot until we see the... Um, uh, until we see uh, the less demand for silver, or, or the, yeah, less demand for silver, for sure, all right. 
Uh, Silver Wolverine sold a basketball car for over 600 bucks and is turning it into free gold. Video coming in a couple weeks. That's incredible. Wow. So here's, here's Silver Wolverine selling a piece of cardboard for all intents and purposes. And uh, that, you know, could just catch fire and just burn right up. And he's going to turn it into gold. Now, the baseball card he's got has got some value because of the ink that's printed on it. Is, a, uh, is in reference to a player. So it's a fairly rare card, and it has some value to it, and it's going to um, it's going to go it's gonna it's gonna go towards gold. Very good. All right. Oh man, very good. You've been watching for ten years. I just found out about these guys recently. Hodge twins. Silver Stanger, thank you for the super chat. Five dollars. Yes, that's going towards some new equipment, and uh, we're getting closer to the halfway point, but we're still a little ways off. I'm pro probably about four fifths of the way there. Probably is my guess. Uh, so that's coming along slowly but surely, but we'll get there. Um, what it is, folks, is I'm taking all the super chat money, which accounts to about 52%. Because I, before I kind of miscalculated, because uh, YouTube takes 30% right off the top. Then there's taxes that are off of it, state and local, state and uh, federal taxes. And so it's probably going to be about half. Uh, so in other words... Uh, Silver Stanger is $5. I'll probably, it'll be $2.50 of that will go towards the new equipment. So, yes, indeed. All right, very good. All right. Okay, let's see here. Oh, let's see. Joe Costello, speaking of solid gold, listen to the, his voice and the tune and tell me if you think is singing it. Sal, you're a quite musical guy. Of course, we don't want to um, get a copyright strike, so we're not going to see that. But uh, thank you. I'm sure it's pretty good. Donna, New Mexico says, hey, Sal, are you scaredy cat? Fearful two slurps. I'm trying not to be scared. Donald, trying not to. Is he here? Where's Donald? Oh, my goodness. Where's Donald? Mm. Savage Stacker. Wow, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, sir. $9.99 towards a super chat. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that very much. Very kind of you indeed. All right. Let's see here. Welcome, welcome to you. Appreciate you. And uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Yes, that is the biggest super chat of the night. So thank you so much. Thanks for not slurping, says a real Brooke 1968. Oh, man, you, you, you've, uh, man, now I want to slurp this coffee. I'll hold off a little bit. But Barbara likes it, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see. Let's see what the markets are doing now. Because that's what this is about. Now, let's get back here. The markets are reacting and they're, uh, they're down just a little bit, yeah. But they're kind of leveling off here. Gold is down 1680 uh, is where it's at at four dollars and down negative four dollars and forty cents. Silver's only down three cents, a point two zero percent. So it's kind of hanging in there, trying to uh, stay above 1740 there. And platinum is down even less now. So they're starting to kind of level off here. Darth Stacker is here. Hello, Darth. Good to see you. Did you see my unboxing video of your lovely gift, which is awesome? Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, man. Yes, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to get a couple of those 1804 silver dollars. Yes, indeed, gold chick. Bill Doe Baggin. I heard they want a microchip silver bullion. Oh, man. Well, there's a, um, I got a piece of silver here that does have a, uh, a near field communications chip in it. Yes, indeed. All right. I sure do. Very good. Okay, real close your ears. Your real close your ear. Here, here comes a slurp for Barbara. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Ah, it's for Barbara. All right. Uh, we're gonna ask which video. I think it's called Magnificent, uh, Magnificent, Magnificent Male or something like that. I did it quite a while ago, but yes, indeed. Thank you, my friend. Put your channel link in there. Hopefully, people will check your channel out. But thank you so much for the awesome gift. Yes, indeed. So check that video out when you get a chance. Okay, let's see. We got the 114 watching now. The markets are what they are. I was expecting them to actually kind of go up a little bit, but uh, kind of the news of the uh, of uh, the correction uh, for the uh, mis miscalculated uh, uh, employment numbers uh, will bring the numbers and unemployment rate uh, up to 16.3% as opposed to 13.3%. So 
we're still heading in the right direction, but it's not quite the VV, at least in terms of those employment numbers yet. So we'll see here. All right. Very good. Yeah, no problem, Dar Stacker. Thank you, sir. You're awesome. All right, let's see here. Okay, 12 monkeys, create false optimism to drive toll prices down. All right. Yes, I know some people are wondering about that. A U.S. frame. Wow, thank you so much for the $3 super chat. I think you're new around here too. Wow. Thank you so much, U.S. frame. I appreciate that. Very kind. All right. Where are we at? Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the 1% that's buying for your listening pleasure. All right, yes, indeed. That is, I did check that one out. That is uh, Suicidal Tendencies. Um, murders out, this goes in. Murders out, this goes in. Murders out, this goes in. Pretty good fun. Actually, it's the other way around, but yeah, I digress. I digress. Very good. Okay. Bill457 says, watching this video or listening, one thing came up to my mind. What if the USA had a $20 silver eagle? I mean, $20 face value instead of a dollar like Canada, some of the other coins and others, spend it at a store. I would just think about that. Yeah, oh man, it would be interesting. They would never do that though because that means that uh, it would be worth $20 no matter what, um, uh, even if the silver went down to $14 again, you know? It's crazy. Okay, U.S. Frame has been watching, but is usually quiet. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for popping in this time. Appreciate it. And uh, I was only able to get seven ounces of silver this week. Hope stock starts rolling in before, soon before stores, says Silverholic. By the way, check out Silverholic's channel. He um, uh, posts a really good video of some grabs he got for at spot. Yes, indeed. He was able to get silver and gold at spot price. Very cool. What is the silver coin in this video? It is the Royal Arms. And the 2020 Royal Arms Silver. Same thing with the gold as well. Walter Dave says, just keep stacking. Just keep stacking. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to continue to stack. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Nevada Stacker. The 2.5 million people just returned to their jobs while they were furloughed. They just returned back to work. That's right. Exactly. It's, uh, it's about returning back to work. And that's what the, we were thinking because when they were off work, furloughed, they were getting unemployment. So that counted as a job loss. And now that these are back, it's a job regained. Regained. That's right. Exactly. Which is good news. It's what we want. That's what we want. Silverholic. Yes, indeed. Gold Chick Vibafell says, I am buying the world supply of gold, not the... Elites, not the Cabal, not the Masonic Order, Templars of Illuminati's, just little me. Hopefully we can take over and stop the Dominator. Then sunbathe nude. I like that. I like that. Yes, indeed. Invite me to the beach when that happens. All right. Very good. Let us see here. AG47 Surfer says, I think most people call BS on those numbers. Yes. Nice Megadeth reference. Thank you, son of a silver stacker. I appreciate that. Yes, indeed. I'm into Comey bars, one gram, and a hundred times a fused gold and silver. All right. There's a little divisible bars. Yes, indeed. Hi, Steve, who I think is still here. Yes, he is here. Fear is never a good motivation. I've been holding back on a decision just because I want to be sure I'm not doing it out of fear. Due to the current situation, my 401k is allowing me to withdraw a portion of that investment with no penalty. I'm really tempted to withdraw enough to buy a stack of gold. I'm not asking for advice here. Knowing my track record, whenever I do, whatever I do will probably be the wrong thing. But it's an interesting situation for me, and I want to be clear on my motivation and expectations before I pull that trigger. Understandable, I did that out of a mistake in 2013. Hi, Steve. So, yeah, and... Uh, if you don't have a penalty from it, then uh, yeah, you're doing you're doing better than I did because I took a big penalty when I took mine out. Yes, indeed. Now where's Tricky? Where's Terry? Where's Tricky? Where's Pudenda? We need them all. We need them all. Uh, Drew Santana says, "Got a question? Would a one ounce gold bar and a one ounce platinum bar be the same, uh, same dimensions, uh, particularly a pant bar?" But any coin and bar are the same style. Uh, um, they'll be slightly different. 
In fact, I think I made mention in this video, if not in this video, the, the follow-up to it, um, that the platinum is more dense than gold. So it's, in this particular case, the maple leaf will be slightly thinner. But yes, platinum is more dense than gold. Yes, indeed. I like that about platinum. It's very cool. James Goodall, another great video, dude. Keep them coming. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, where's Donald? Terry and Donald are in Vegas getting married. That's got to be what's going on. Crazy. Chuck and Plata says, Sal, my silver is in Wisconsin safe where moth and rust cannot destroy. Soon I'll be selling some of it. Uh, some of his value, Deb and I will employ, enjoy some months with our family in a trip to Washington, D.C., then back to Puerto Rico, where my Casa Beach and Dominican family await. Our silver is now uh, here with us, but not fulfill my wildest dreams. I know our dollars would be uh, not saved, they would be spent on crazy schemes. Sal, you have helped us so much along the way. A multitude of gratitude more. We owe you, Sal. Hope one day, buy you lunch and beer someday. Try and bounce the score. Well, hey, I, you know, I just appreciate you being a viewer, uh, Chuck, for sure. Means a lot. So thank you, my friend. Very kind indeed. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? I miss America. Hello. Good to see you. Slurp, he said. All right. Oh, I was a baby slurp, but anyways, I was want to get back here to see what the markets are doing. But we have Guido Stacking with us. Hello, Guido. Check out Guido Stacking's channel. Good guy. He's got his auctions on Monday night, so check him out. All right. Yes, indeed. Welcome, guys. Muscle Shell is here. Good to see you. I think he's new. Good to see you, Muscle Shell. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So let's see here. Here is the gold and silver prices. They are down slightly. Uh, not by a whole lot, especially silver is only down just slightly. So they're starting to make a rebound here. Amazing. Paul Richards, do you want to play a match of tennis? Yeah, there we go. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's play some tennis. All right. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever actually played an actual game of tennis. I think I may have done it once. ASMR Charlie is here. Sal owes us a full ounces. Dale Val. Yes, indeed. Back to the comments here. Dennis Hansen says, I own gold and silver for peace of mind. I'm not concerned with the price so much. There isn't any need for me to manage it. It's real and will have value regardless of what happens to the dollar. That's right. Exactly right. It sure will. Tricky guy is here. Abolish Alan Gold for co-opting our channel that is protesting the fiat lies. He comes here to wreck ordinary conversations and vile trolling. He's breaking our windows. An agent provocateur. Yes, indeed. He sure is. Come on, Alan. Be nice to Tricky guy. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Mr. Paradise says, wait, one cotton pit in second? Did it have a classification error or misclassification error? Never misunderstand. Estimate the stupidity of the people who get all their news from the news. Yes, indeed. That's right. Miscalculable classification. Indeed. All right. Shady McGravy's gaming channel. Who's buying coin shop owners who can't find it anywhere else? That's who's buying. That's right. I'm right. Excellent video, says Bob Nash. Fear is a survival instinct. We must recognize it uh, or it will save you. Very good. So will we see gold and silver climb up beyond the little dips that came out when it first opened up? We'll find out. We're going we're gonna to follow this for sure. Silver Stanger, love the Megadeth reference. Peace sells, but who's buying? Thanks, my friend. You got it. You got it. A good number of you got that. Walter Dave is here with us. Hello, Walter Dave. Welcome, my friend. Ah, very good. Uperman is here. Eric Dawson says, I'm not sure that there are any uh, many buyers. The margins are crazy on gold, silver, and platinum. This has driven many that I know away. That is for everybody, but I'm thinking the buying is overreported. Yes, could be. We'll see. Swaying to the symphony of prospection. There you go, Paul. Exactly. 
Halfway through, slurp with me, Sal. There we go. Let's slurp for Ozzy. Medium Man says gold is down more with Canadian climbing so fast. Gold and Canadian dollar down even more. Wow. With Canadian dollar climbing so fast. That's crazy. Yeah. You for all is one Guido. All right. Terry is here. Hello, Terry. Welcome. You made it. She made it. She made it. She made it. All right. So the uh, gold and silver and platinum are down again. But uh, gold and silver are down exactly the same percentage. 0.2% each. Gold down $3.40 and silver is down $0.03. Cents. So there you have it. The metals are moving. The metals are moving. All right, but only down just slightly, ever so slightly here. Sterling Cannabis says, I buy all the silver I can. I need lots of silver bullets. The next shoe to drop will be a zombie attack. Time for a bong hit. There you, there you go, my friend. Bong hits. Bong hits are us. All right, let's check them in uh, Australian dollars. So in Australian dollars, we're seeing movement, uh, a bit more dramatic movement in Australian dollars. Gold is down 0.47, almost a half percentage point in Australian dollars. Silver's down um, uh, half a point, $24.99 uh, for an ounce of silver in Australian dollars. Gold, 24.07. Platinum is down Nine dollars and fifteen cents. And look at these percentage numbers. Now let's take a look at the Canadian dollar. So the Canadian dollar, we're seeing uh, not quite as big of a hit, but still we're taking a hit and there for gold, silver, platinum. Uh, all around the third of a percentage range, except for platinum, is, is down just over a half percentage point. Very good. Get my U.S. dollar. Let's get back here. Bong burp, Sal. There you go. Bong burp. Bong burp. Yeah, exactly. Except for current Twitcher, gold is down 80 pounds since I sold a few ounces, so I'm happy, chappy. Nice. You did well, Cyber Current Twitcher. You timed that exactly right. Very good. Uh, Spook Spacey, zombie attack, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, my channel. Cool. All right, Spook Spacey. Thank you so much. Check him out. Spook Spacey's channel. I'm going to have a zombie attack at 10 p.m. Eastern. Late. Night at Spook Spacey's channel. Very nice. All right. So for Wolverine, soon we will get an email from all the bullion dealers. Metals are moving. Buy now. That's right. That's part of the, what they do. It's part of their marketing method. Yes, uh, medium man, Australian dollar rising even faster. That's right. All right. Andrew Booth, Morgan's first year of issue. ATF, uh, and you can forget about Carson City. I choose to go after the first year of issue. Morgan Dollar is expensive, and I refuse to quit buying. It's, it's not my responsibility to anyone to help find $100 coins. Okay, very good. And yes, my coins will disappear from the market. So Andrew's buying some Morgans, collector coins out there. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Joe, it's better late than never. He's here. Joe Costello. Welcome, Joe. Good to see you, my friend. Florida Stacker says, steady as she goes into the storm. At the end of the day, if even a spot tanks, I'll just buy more for the better prices. Love your video, Sal. I'm behind on them as I took 10 days away with the family, but we'll try to catch up as soon as I work to respond to over 500 comments. You know more than anyone. Yes, Florida Stacker. Actually, I need to check out some of your channel, too, but I hope you had a good vacation, my friend. Welcome. All right. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Check out his channel, Florida Stacker. All right. Very good. Let's see. Okay. Uh, pal, KKKK, I'm buying greetings from Poland. Greetings to you. Yes, indeed. Stripe is a perfect word, says Sun Myra. Yes, indeed. Nice video, friend. Thank you so much, Abram Numismatics. Thank you, thank you. Corey Morell is here. Hello, Corey. Good to see you. Rocky Superstar, I'm in fear of high premiums. I'm waiting uh, the high premiums out. I am not buying. There you go. Wait it out. He might be making a smart move. Yes, indeed. 
New coin. All right. It says uh, history of silver numismatics. New coin. It says gold chick Vibafell. All right. And Alan Gold, wake me up when Sal makes a point. Wake up, Alan. I'm making it right now. The point is, is that you are a wick deed. He's a wick deed, everybody. That's uh, exactly right it is. That means that Alan Gold, everybody say it with me. A wick deed. That's what Alan Gold is. You switch those two letters around, the D and the W, and you'll get what I'm talking about. That's what Alan Gold is. All right. Superman is riding against high prices. Yes, indeed. Loot. Loot the bullion dealers, right? Exactly. Let's loot the bullion dealers. Oh, my goodness. Treasured Sons is here. Oh, Superman says, the way them riots are going, I'm afraid the country's recovery is going to take a while. Now, don't get me wrong. I, for one, want to see our country succeed. But I, I buy to say, but I can't. But I can't. It's another type of savings account. The prices are a little high. I will still buy. I will hold cash. There's no emotion involved. All right, very good. Hopefully they will end. Uh, all right, do an experiment. Try various kinds of slurps to see if you can get Barb's orgasms heightened. Use a straw to sip. Hold mic close to lips. Sipping three fast, short slurps. Or right, let's try this here. Here we go. Let's see here. A weak deed is a mod. As I know, what is what am I doing, uh, Dar Stacker? That's it's crazy. I'm just insulting a moderator. Good grief. Here we go. Let's try to arouse uh, uh, Barbara Carbone's attention here with this Mr. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Maybe that did it. Maybe not. A dove season. Good question. How's my shoulder? It's a little bit better. I think not doing the push ups has helped. Because I've been doing them semi-regularly before. And uh, what I'm going to do, dove season, is going to let the shoulder kind of rest up a bit. Uh, and uh, what I would like to do some other kind of exercise. I might do more pelvic thrusts for you guys just for fun. I know you guys dig that. You know what I'm saying? You dig my pelvic thrust. I know you all do. Let's take a look at the markets while we do this. I'm going to do them here in just a moment. And I like to do some curls, but I got tennis elbow, something crazy here. Whenever I go take that barbell up, I feel it. It's going to rip that muscle completely out. So I got to, and that's still bothering me. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might have, I don't know, but may have done something to my shoulder. It's So I'm going to let that kind of heal up a bit here. Oh, man, Barbara, peel it off the floor. Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. So let's do, on that note, let's get some pelvic thrust in because this is good for the abs. This is an exercise that's good for the abs. And I can do a fairly good number of these. I may not count them because it's really not that impressive, honestly. I mean, they're just pelvic thrust. So I'll just talk during them. You know, actually, you know what? I went to lay down to do this, and... And my little, my abs are sore. From, they're a little bit sore. I'm doing them now. You don't want to hear me count fast, but I'm doing them. You hear the chair squeaking? You know what they say? If it's a squeaking, don't be a peeking, right? You like that? Somebody hashtag that for me so I can see it when I get up. I can't see the screen right now. If it's a squeaking, don't be a peeking. Hashtag that son of a biscuit for me, please. I don't even know how many I've done, but I can feel it. You don't want to see this, guys. That's hurry. You're not going to see it. That's the beautiful thing about it. All right. I can kind of feel that in my hamstrings. Let's see if anybody ha has hashtag that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. Shoot. <laughs> So my hair stacker must did a pelvic curl that hurt. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Ah, nobody hashtag that. Nobody hashtag that. That's crazy. I can't believe it. <laughs> Sal, I burned my tongue doing that slurp for the ladies, you did. Oh my goodness gracious. Self-isolating muscles requires no weight. Yes, that's right, Corey. I've heard it. That's the Atlas uh, shrugged version of that, right? Charles Atlas? And I've done that too, where you put your hands together and you kind of push. And I'm doing that right now. Do squats like me and Terry do. Yes, there we go. Squats. 
squat. Oh my gosh, crazy. All right, Paul Richards. No tennis for us then. I have tennis elbow. Oh, I see. He was just saying Paul Richards. Now I get it. He's got tennis elbow too. Crazy. Uh, I'll take the place of the uh, Dick Weed Mod. All right, there we go. Let's see. We should be able to. I mean, good grief. Since Dark Stacker is a, um, since he is a, uh, you know, a, a member here, we'll have him there. Very good. All right, let's see here. Atlas Shrug. That's right. There we go. All right, very good. So what are the markets? What happened to the markets since this thing happened here? They went down just a little bit, but not by a whole lot. They're just kind of hanging out. Here, very soon, we are going to um, actually, very, very soon, we are going to get a, uh, we're going to check out the, um, the the charts on those things here. It's crazy. All right. Universal Coins got a quarter ounce gold eagle under 460. Yeah. Are they reputable? Alex Miles, chances... Of us entering a hot war with a foreign country, chances of states like Texas, Cali, Alaska breaking away during the Civil War. Oh, man, I think both are unlikely at this point. Uh, a hot war with a foreign country right now is my guess is there's not really much of that kind of tension. There's other kinds of tension. I think that a Cold War with China is a real possibility. Paul Richards, squeaky chair, he hashtagged it very good. If it's a squeaking, then you can stop peeking. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> I don't think we'll see states break away if there's a, quote, civil war. Um, you know, a civil war, I believe, would be something like what we saw over these last week. You know what I'm saying? A civil war, civil war will, will essentially be what we saw over the last week magnified to some level. And then but go to online when it's being a documented forever. Yes, the Wolverine, I sort of do. I'm gonna have a video on that topic uh in due course about that. Did the DC US Mint Store just, just survive the DC riots? I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't been down there to see. Boy, let's see. Yes indeed, not sure. <clears throat> Joey says Megadeth nothing else to say it says Joey all right on this very good thank you sir to move on up the comment chain sunny day next bottom wave 1600 1650 good entry for new corners yes I believe so I believe it is too Dexter Dave says hi Sal and thanks I should apply for a job at the BLS I have no experience at jobs uh, calculation, but obviously neither do they, so I should fit right in. Yes. All right, very good. Key West has broken ties with the U.S. again. Really? So they're going back as the uh, Conk Republic now, Gold Chick? All right. Robert Stuval says, This doesn't apply to me because I'm a physical precious metal trader. Fake paper markets are... Uh, for paper unicorn traders, physical metals uh, traders deal on different market. Please don't tell me this BS that the COMEX prices control the physical market because if so, then where can I get a COMEX pricing in physical metals? That's right. Well, when I say that, uh, there's, it's a derived from it. In other words, it's a foundation with a set amount of premiums tied to it. But uh, let's see here. El Porno is here. El Porcano, good to see you, sir. Coming to us from the future. It's Monday morning there. All right, the Pitbull Father. He says it. If it's a squeaking, don't be a peeping. You got it, brother. You got it. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's see. You can always tell when Sal silently reads your chat room comment, then ghosts. It's like it never happened. He pauses. Way too long, and that's the tell. That's right. You have to wait for my pauses, for sure. Like what I'm going to do with um, Barbara's comment. True, Joe, but don't many agree. All right. That's my sign. I just read that silently to myself. Tradeon. Just look uh, how exponentially grows interest for physical PMs. Price has nothing to do, but go higher and higher. Graph analysis being duped. All right. Thank you, Tradeon. Chateau Bullion says, just because... You're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out there to get you. Besides, our yearly inflation rate is 2.3% and dollar losing 2% a year. Uh, why not be paranoid? All right. 
Justin, uh, Starline, love your informative videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Very kind of you indeed. All right. Usually when a uh, reserve currency dies, the nation loses military dominance. We are still way stronger than the next five, seven nations combined. What if they just make a new dollar? Yeah, that's kind of what my prediction will be. They'll just reset a new dollar. Uh, reformulate the dollar without any constrictions is my guess. I just don't think we're going to uh, see another gold standard for quite some time. A stack also, but I am concerned that gold will fall a good bit when China announces they have 20 tons of the stuff. Yes, well, and you know, will they believe them? You know what I mean? I don't know. All right, Silver Honda was first on the Silver Basics, the first new series, a uh, new series I'm doing called Silver Basics. The first one is the most basic question of all. What is silver? Spook Spacey, great concept. Everybody can learn something from even the foundation, even the foundational information. Yes, thank you, Spook Spacey. That's right. Exactly. And let me see if I subscribe to their channel. Let me see if I am. I am now. Very good. All right. Nice. And uh, number three says Rocky Superstar. Thank you, Rocky. Appreciate that. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. Silver Hair Stacker, the new dollar. $20,000 for an ounce. That's right. Okay. Spooky Spacey, I'd like to get more information on that erectile dysfunction and medication. Add that popped up before this video. Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Slurping at four says Joe. All right. You got it. You got it. Vas is das. Okay. RWG says that it is a underpriced wonder metal. Yes, indeed. It is an interesting metal underpriced. Joe Costello, you should fear Trump releasing the military on the American citizens. That should send chills up your spine. Uh, Pose coming to this act. Well, uh, you know, I don't know what the steps would be, but the National Guards... Uh, the state national guards are uh, Trump has some authority over them, and the, Trump basically did that, said that, uh, because these governors were not doing anything for these rioters and looters. And I tell you what fears me more than Trump sending uh, the military on American citizens, he's sending them on people who are breaking the law, are destroying property, killing people, and uh, causing all kinds of chaos and destruction in these cities. I'm all for it. If he sent active duty military there, I would be all for it because as long as he um, exhausts all, all other functions first, and I think what he was talking about was the National Guards, not the actual military going in with tanks or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, essentially, uh, what fears, what, what, I, what scares me more than Trump is these governors and these mayors that aren't doing enough to stop the crap. In fact, some of the actual protesters were actually lining up to protect businesses. There are the brave ones out there. So, yeah, Trump does not scare me one bit when he says that. Um, what scares me more is the lack of leadership in these cities and in these states, um, for sure. In fact, even um, Cuomo uh, uh, was very frustrated with um, with um, uh What's his face? De Blasio in New York over his lack of uh, of um, of upja. Of, what's the word? Balls to stop this. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. Ah, Cat Jitsu says, what's "Up, what's up? Good to see you. What is up? Just chilling." Ah, let's see here. Stack, stack, save UK. A fractional, oops, caps lock, sorry. Yes, think silver is the fractional that can be traded best. Either coins or better bars is the cheapest. Silver outperforms gold. It languishes in precious value like gold is more abundant than gold and other metals. I think silver hoarders are in for a big payday and will be cashing in after during this crisis. I'm hanging on the mine and holding silver despite 440%. I'd say buy silver as cheap as possible and bars sit on them and wait. Yes, it could be. 
I have heard several people out there um, who uh, is saying that when silver reaches a certain amount, they're going to cash out and get out of silver completely. Silverholic says here, have you seen the video where they show every single store in Manhattan boarded up? Yes. That's actually Pamela Rice posted a video about that hard news vegan. I did see that video. Crazy. Tricky guy. How fast will the trillion cent to foreign banks come home to roost? That's when we get impacted, or has it already been factored in six months? That's a good question. I don't know. A lot of the money that was printed in QE3 and 2 has not made its way back yet. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a good question. Could, that, could this go on for years? It seems like it could. Uh, it's crazy. All right, did you see Trump tweet about Colin Powell voting for Biden? No, I did not see that. I, uh, it does not surprise me. Colin Powell, I think, voted for Obama. So it does not surprise me one bit that he would vote for Biden. In fact, I heard that uh, Bush uh, is not going to support Trump either. That doesn't surprise me either. What's the word? Yeah, cucumbers, uh, uh, cojones. Cojones is the word I was looking for. Cojones. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Corey and Morrell, we as a country need to stop fearing everything. It's perpetuating self-destruction and social divide. Cuomo does what he wants, anything he says. There's a negative motivation behind it. That's right. We should not operate out of fear. We shouldn't have to live in fear either, for sure. I agree. And we should all be united. You know, there's no reason for the racial division today, uh, you know, because I think by and large, the vast majority of Americans are, um, uh, aren't are racist and they view their fellow man by the content of their character, not the color of their skins, skin and uh, and everything. So I think that, you know, there is division being created where really... It's not there uh, on for the most part. Not to say that there isn't any issues or problems, uh, for sure. And there is, there is, all the way around. Racism is colorblind, when you think about it. Racism transcends. It's not a white, uh, white being racist against blacks. It can also be blacks being racist against uh, whites. It can be blacks being racist against other blacks. Seriously, there was a two tribes in Africa that fought. Um, I think in Western Africa, there there are two two organizations that fought because they didn't like the color of one another's black skin. They weren't black enough or whatever. It's crazy. It's insanity. Insanity. All right, let's see here. Oh, okay, Donald Trump calls Colin Powell an overrated stiff for joining the other top Republicans, George W. Bush and Mitt Romney, for refusing to support his re-election bid before winning, before warning fellow stiff sleepy. Okay, thank you, media man. I did not, now I see the, it doesn't surprise me that Trump said that, honestly. But uh, if it were me, I would just, um, I would just ignore it. You know what I mean? Dar Stacker, thank you, my friend. Racism is colorblind, so true. That's right. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, let's see here. Very good. My cat is black. Am I a racist? You know what? I have a cat that's black and white. So, I don't know, man. That's a good question. So, yeah. Yeah, Hutu and Tutsi. There you go. Thank you, Melting Down. You got it. Thank you. That's it. I knew, I just couldn't think of the name of the uh, tribes or the organizations. Very good. All right, there you go. No color in the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps, as uh, Obama would say. The Marine Corps, we're all green, lean, fighting machines. That you are. God bless you. Uh, all members of the military. And by the way, in the military, everybody, doesn't matter what color you are, you work hard, you strive. They're all heroes. They're all heroes. Yes, indeed. We love our men and women in the military for sure. The slurping guy. I'm the slurping guy. Yes, indeed. That's right. No, was there any color other than green in the army? That's right, Eber man. Exactly right. Like that black and white cookie. That's right, Dar Stacker. That's I remember that Seinfeld episode. Exactly right. Gotta love it. Gotta have a little fun too. I gotta have a little fun. Navy, yes, Navy vet. Thank you, uh, Dar Stacker, for your service in the Navy. Yes, indeed. They're blue, blue. Very good. He was on submarines. Very cool. Okay. So thank you, Stack Stack Save UK. Rocky Superstar says, 
Sell the melting point of silver, 1763 to 1764 degrees Fahrenheit. Silver is shiny. Thanks. Yes, indeed. Very, very shiny. That's right. Dale Val. I thought I saw this video a month ago and I was having the deja vu. Yes. Nope. I, I didn't post it. Somebody else may have posted it, but I didn't. And what about the balls inquiry? Hmm. Man, the balls inquiry. My balls are still there. Thank goodness. All right. Let's see here. Tony, Biden collected hair from the Obamas while he was VP. Interesting. I won't say what kind of hair is. Don't choke. Don't want to choke. That's right. We don't want to choke. It's us coughing up. We're almost done with this coffee here, but we're going to have water to replace it here soon. And my balls to the wall. Now, Libertad is looking sexy AF. Thank you, Hugh, man. I want to get me a gold um, one ounce Libertad, I'm hoping. I hope gold goes down because I'm going to buy some more. How's that slurping guy going? Doing pretty good. Uh, 15K Dow 2022 says deja vu all over again. Where have I heard that before? I feel like I've heard that. Since. Yeah, that's right. Deja vu all over again. Okay, Corey Morrell. According to the world, whites are the only humans that can be racist. Uh, I call shenanigans on that. Race hate is racism. It's just not the white man keeping minorities down with privilege. That's right. Exactly. I agree, Corey. Silver Damsel is here. It is a party. It is a it is a hot it is a bathtub party with bubbles. Very good. Joe watched my video on 100 ounces of gold. Thank you, my friend. Yes, Udo Dirk Schneider. You got your balls to the wall, man. Bana down. Balls to the wall. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. See here. Balls to the wall, man. Balls to the wall. Balls to the wall, man. Balls to the wall. Yeah. There we go. All right. Sorry, I could not help myself. And my guitar is a little bit out of tune. Remedy that never. Man, that's way out of tune. All right, let me see where it is. Except that's right. Saw them in Philly. Cool. Now, Udo has his own thing going on, and there's another um, um, singer for Accept. Don't stop my day job, I know. Okay, have a good night. I knew it. Uh, Silver Hana is going to be making a pork chop dinner for Mrs. Silver Hana before she gets home from work. Please be safe and pray for peace. That's right. We need to pray for peace for the country. Too much division going on. And it's stoked by the media. With, and it's a leftist agenda. Spooky Spacey. Sounds like you need a forever pick. No string noise. Yes, Made in USA. I need to... I think it's time for me to... A Spooky Spacey. Um... Now I know who you are. That's the wooden pick. So um, I have to get in touch with you. I gotta keep. I gotta keep my um, information private. But I, I do want to get one of those. In fact, I'd like to get the whole set. Buy them from you. Um, we'll try to figure that out. Yes, indeed. Forever picks. He's got big balls. She's got big balls. But I've got the biggest balls of them all.
All right. No more Mr. Ice. Nice guy. Yeah, that's right. All right. Lucky 13 says Terry, 79. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So why not get a P.O. box? Yeah, I thought about a P.O. box. But the thing is, is, um, is uh, I don't know. It's uh, P.O. boxes are kind of, you're limited kind of in, I don't know. I just never got one. It would still, I've heard some bad things about, or I've heard some things about P.O. boxes that some people can kind of still stalk you out there if they really wanted to. Send you something and go there, they track it when the package gets there and kind of wait for you. That wouldn't be that hard to do, believe it or not. Some people say it's highly unlikely to happen. And it's somewhat unlikely to happen, but still. Uh, but, yeah. All right. A Clash guitar pick. No, I don't have one of those. I rebuke the looters. I do, too. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Stack, stack, save UK. Great video sale. Love the facts and history. Thank you. Very basic. But um, I believe it or not, I've been asked some basic questions, so I'm doing this series to kind of do that. 88 says the real Brook. 1968. Very good. Fuey Odor Box. There we go. P.O. Box stands for few Fuey Odors. All right. Uh, uh, Barbara Carbone. Defy, deny, and dismiss the motto of the right. Oh, man. Triple D for Barbara there, yes indeed. No, we we uh we don't we defy the mainstream media and propaganda, but all right, let's see here. Okay. Stack Stack says, I pray silver explodes alongside gold within three years, I think. Yes. Uh, but you know what? We have to come to some possibility that it may not perform as well as gold. It could. It should in many cases. But, you know, but yeah. Uh, Famer 7, I've eaten silver now in blue. It killed all the bacteria in my body. Now I'm on phase two of Project Sil Silverine. It will melt 700 ounces of silver and make my skeleton into X-Men Wolverine endoskeleton. Nice. Now, there's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Let's see what the markets are doing right now. Okay, they're down kind of uh, a little bit more than they were gold is. But, uh, yes, indeed. Crazy. All right, I got a cruise. Take care, Paul Richards. Thanks for being here. I right, yes, I need to go to Roswell, New Mexico and stop in the Alien Zone and get some pics. That would be cool. Yes, I live pretty far away from there. Dennis Hansen is here from Florida. Good to see you. Space is fake. It's right side up. So there's where the numbers are, guys. Palladium is the only metal that's up. We're going to take a look at the charts here just a momentarily. Let's get through a couple of comments and see what the trend has been for the last hour and ten minutes. Uperman, now I know why I'm drawn to silver. It's the it's not the fact that it's money, but it's hard to explain. It's something magnetic I'm drawn to. Anyway, thanks for the video. Yeah, it's a very unique metal. The, the physical properties of the metal... I think are quite astounding. Yes, it does tarnish, but some people like how it tarnishes. But pure uh, unreacted silver, or you know, it's it polishes up very nice. And these proof coins are just absolutely stunningly beautiful. And uh, that's why I kind of collect them. You know what I mean? It's just lovely metal for sure. Dale Val, when you see the games and the mainstream media lies and false flags and playing them at the race bidding, this is the devil at work. Do not fear the BS. Do not be led by the crappy helpers. Remember God's words, please. 
He tore us from a store. He leadeth me to the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, they'll walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But fear no evil. That's Psalm 23. Thou art with me. Thou ride and the staff are with me. Praise Yahweh. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua is the name for Jesus there. But yeah. Yeah, I tell you what. The, 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 the racial, the race baiting division is something that really hits my nerve. I do not like that. Um... I do not like that the mainstream media, and, and if you're against, if you are against any of that, uh, of, uh, of the, of what the, kind of the propaganda behind it, then you, you're labeled a racist, and I do not like that. I think that is awful. Toshio says a smiley face. All right. All right. Are we good? Okay. Just a uh, fly fryer just about to come over out of the oven. All right. Have a good, nice weekend, Joe. Appreciate it. Appreciate you so much. Futures are up 150 bucks. I'm surprised since unemployment numbers were incorrect. Yes, Optimus Locust. Yeah, we actually talked about that earlier. My guess is it's not made mainstream news yet about the incorrect incorrection. So yes, indeed. All right, very good. Basically awful video, says Alan Gold. So I'm going to take it uh, that he doesn't like this video. All right. It's all good. It says thanks for the info, Sal. Thank you. It's all good. Appreciate you. As we move on up the comment chain, Metal Man, Sal, you need a more formal intro to this series, like classical music and cursive font. Yeah, I know. I'm I I um I'm trying to keep my production stuff kind of uh, kind of basic and um. Guess I can put some guitar to it, right? But I don't know. I think we knew this already. It says this in an aggressor. Yes, you knew it, but uh, this is for the newbies out there. Got to drop out early. Some of us have to be up early for work to keep the economy alive. Yes, indeed. Well, God bless you for what you do, CyberCurrent Twitcher. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't, check out CyberCurrent Twitcher's channel. A great. A channel indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, CCT. Appreciate you. Hey, everybody. You made it to the Sunday Night Live Market Watch. Thank you to Chiefly Chieftain. Welcome, my friend. Good video, Sal. Thank you, Mark B. You are awesome. You are awesome. Mark B. Bass player extraordinaire. Silver Bowl AG47. 2020s will be like 1970 times tens. In other words, ramping up inflation, sending silver in a decade of long parabolic uptrend. Uh, one would think, but I don't know that that will necessarily happen, considering what happened in 2013. But anyways. Corey Morell says, good concept for videos. I bet my rambling comments will start making more sense to a lot of people after they watch this too. Bonus, Galena, a lead salt fight is a common silver ore. Ah, wow, okay, thank you. I didn't know that for Galena. I know that, yeah, lead is definitely in with Galena. Yes, indeed, all right. I should probably put this guitar away. I tend to noodle on it. Rocky Mountain Bear, good to see ya. All right. Sick of the fish of this. I have 240 troy ounces of rounds and bars with more on the way. Thanks for the video. Cool. Awesome. Congratulations. That's a good start. It's a very good start. Here, let's finish off this coffee here. Oh, thank you so much, Tony Gallardo. Enjoy your guitar playing and great metals insights. Thank you so much, my friend. I like the noodle around here. Uh, tricky guy. 
What was the most popular song that had the most licks by a bassist? Ooh, man, tricky guy. Um, I would say probably um, there's really only one lick that I can think about that's a really bass-oriented song that is uh, is uh, is just absolutely amazingly popular, and that is another one, Bites of Dust by Queen. That's the one I can think of. Uh, that would probably be um, the thing, the one I can think of that's bass oriented. Not necessarily the uh, the number of uh, of uh, the number of licks or what have you. Play, play. All you need is love. All you need is love. Oh man, shoot, oh man. All you need is love, love. I don't know that one, Barbara. I wish I did. I'd love to be able to play that one for you. Um, uh, let it be. Let's see here. Let it be. Man, I forget that one too. Orion by Metallica. Yeah. Peter Gunn thing. Oh, yeah. That's all I know, and that's not even really good. I don't know where it goes from there, but... Yes, indeed. All right. Beethoven's Fifth. Man, I don't know Beethoven's Fifth. Sepultura, Roots, Bloody Roots. Man, I don't know Roots. Um, But I know this one from Sepultura from the album before that one. Territory. Territory. All right, I've been growing a James Hetfield goat beard. Nice. Yes, awesome, Kalani Stacker. Uh, James Hetfield actually kind of grew my, um, whatchamacallit, beard, like from um, the guy from Wizard of Oz. Who was the guy from Wizard of Oz? The, the um, whatchamacallit, the lion, the lion from Wizard of Oz, the cowardly lion. You think uh, the only option is to believe the jobs report? First time is a video. All right. Mark B, yet another good video, Uncle Sal. Thank you, Mark B. Appreciate that. All right. Yeah, Barbara loves the Beatles. What is another Beatles? I thought there was a man. I, um, I used to know Day Tripper. Bulls on Parade. Yeah, Bulls on Parade. Man, don't know that one either. We are Sepultura from Brazil. That's right, Value Hunter. Strapping Young Lad. Oh, yeah, Devin Townsend was awesome. Don't know a whole lot of their stuff, but, uh, yeah, they were, they were good. Uh, Suya Sisatar. I like to imagine a cartoon rat wearing a black leather jacket, newsboy cap, and mirror shades when I listen to these reports. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Beatles. Slayer. Here we go, Slayer. Uh, let's see here. Or we can have this one. Let's 
See if you can know, name that tune, you know what I'm saying? Name that little catchy little number. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can, but you might be able to. He also says, I'd like to imagine a card. Okay, yeah, we got that. He did this, said that before. A little double comment there. Uh, yeah, the first one was South of Heaven, 15K, 2022. That's right. I love silver, but name the second one. The intro to yet another Slayer song. Yes, indeed. Silver Honda, great to recap the fundamentals of Silver Series. I need my attitude and knowledge adjusted on Silver. I should have called my channel Coffee Blue Honda. There you go, AG. There you go. That would have been cool. Silver Honda is the man. Skeletons of Society. No, that was not Skeletons, but close from the same album, Value Hunter. Um, but uh, yeah, it was from the same al uh, album. That was Amazing Grace. Here we go, Silver Hair Stacker. Yes, indeed. It's not Dead Skin Mask. It's still from the same album, though. I'll play it again. Yeah, that was, uh, it was, they filmed a video for it. Here's a hint. They filmed a video for it, and they filmed it in Egypt. Another, that's a part of it. Yeah, you all should get that. Barbara Carbone should be able to get that right away. Good grief. It's not Dead Skin Mask. It's not Sympathy for the Devil. That's actually, um, what is that band name? Rolling Stones. I know Barbara likes Rolling Stones, too. Concert for George yet. Eric Clapton, Paul Ringo, a few others remember names you would know. Huh, I haven't not seen that. Mm. Let's see here. Let's put some water in here. Seasons in the Abyss. JRW3, got it. First, Seasons in the Abyss. That's exactly right. That's it. The Self, the uh, which is the name of the album. Right, Seasons. Yes, that's right. Value Hunter and JRW3 got it. That's right. Very good, guys. Awesome. All right, 15K Dow 2022. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Yes, dude, you do have great taste in music, too. Coins A to Z is here. All right, let's see here. Uh, Silver Steeler says, perhaps the metals will pick up now that the industrial demand will pick up. This latest virus hold told me there are other things to prep for outside of gold and silver. That's true. It does. It's some valuable lessons indeed with that stuff for sure. All right. What are the markets doing? They are reacting uh, very little. In fact, silver is pretty much almost flat. Crazy. Only down a cent. Gold is back up to 1680, but it's still down over a quarter point slightly all right very good yeah the video i love the video to that song that's right jared at me three filmed in uh egypt we're missing some likes 75 people watching now yeah i guess when i started playing guitar the people dropped out that's all right down in New Mexico, silver is older than any tomb in history. Wash your hands. In a case of microbe escaped, it's silver's property. That's right. It's old. The metal is old. That's right. Very good. Uh, no, Barbara Carbon, I was not playing some stones. Man, uh, let me see here. Um, um, man, dang it. Um, Ah, oh, man, I've got to remember some stones. Let me think here. Let me think of it. Let me think of it, Barbara. Um, man. I got it in my head, but I can't think of it. Um. I 
I can't think of it. I'm sorry, Barbara. I gotta remember. There was some that I remember. Me noodling around here is not good for you guys. I'm sorry. Sounds like a great new series. Thanks, Silver Wolverine. Appreciate it. Zephiel says, to summarize, silver is the element hathnium, but most of the physical properties are different. There you go. Exactly right. Exactly right. Satisfaction. You can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no... Jumbo Jack Flash. Yeah, that's what I was trying to remember. Um, It's a gas. Um... Tricky guy, do you buy coins that are higher priced because of being toned, but otherwise numismatically the same as untoned? Toning has never been a big thing for me. <clears throat> I can do without toning, honestly. If it's nicely, naturally toned, it's fine. The beauty of it's kind of cool in some ways. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, um, but I'm not going to pay a premium for the toning. Born in a crossfire hurricane. That's right. <clears throat> U.S. frame. <coughs> mm. Man. Something got stuck in my throat. Mm. Sorry about that. All right. U.S. frame. Good stuff, Sal. I had to check the conductivity as something rang an old bell. From Lei Uni, silver defines conductivity. All other metals are compared against it. On a scale of 1 to 100, silver ranks 100, with copper at 97 and gold at 76. Very good. Wow. Trite, it is the most conductive metal out there, for sure. Exactly. Which is amazing. There have been way too much factual distancing. That's right. <clears throat> and he says, I buy... When I both feel like it and able, plus portfolio diversified balancing. It's more fun for me than any other savings format. Fear creates a run on other metals like lead. Although I do see your point on some discussing AG and AU as protection from various forms of crashes. And please don't take on debt to purchase PMs. That's exactly right. <clears throat> well said, U.S. Frame. Let's see here. You were from crying. Let's see. Yes, yeah, sorry. Something went down my throat <clears> the <throat> wrong way. Got stuck in there. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, this and an aggressor. Are you going to take off? You guys still have time to win my giveaway. Check out this and an aggressor's channel for the giveaway. Thank you, this and an aggressor. Very cool. All right. Mac Matters. I enjoy your videos. This one was interesting and informative. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. Vic Realtor, that's right. We need a Vic to be our Realtor. <clears throat> Good video, Sal, happy to see you. We'll always keep putting out basics to the new peeps. Thank you, Kuna Coins, appreciate it. <clears throat> Erwin Macias says, Good stuff, Sal, always wanted to ask, but never had the courage, can you say? I am the great Cornholio. I am the great Cornholio. I need TP for my guitar. Ha ha, yes indeed. Yesterday was, that's right, June 6th, 1944, was D-Day, which is the largest um, 
um, land invasion in world history. Uh, ever since and beyond, there's never been anything like it. Uh, the troops hit the shores on Omaha Beach for America, Canadians, uh, Canadians and Americans and uh, British. And they went onto those beaches with a hail of gunfire. Can you imagine being on one of those um, uh, landers, hearing bullets just streaming all the way around you, hitting and, and uh, up against those boats? And as soon as those, uh, the doors went down, people were just slaughtered in there. And uh, they came wave after wave of brave soldiers. Enough cannot be said about what they have done to, um, to save literally the whole world. Um, that's one reason why I have so much admiration for the military. Uh, because of the bravery involved. Uh, what they had done. For sure, the greatest generation. Napalm death, silver. What my hair is turning. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Me, me, me. New people like me are jumping into the game. Yes, that's right. Uh, guided one. We're glad for it. Very cool. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, that's right, Barbara. It's 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 something else. Um, that's something, you know, we look back, uh, those, the, the sacrifices that were made, made for our country and, and the freedoms that we enjoy these days. Uh, it's just um, um, amazing what they have done. Barbara says, a fear has got our country in a chokehold at this time. That's true. More than I can ever recall, buying PMs is the oh, so right move to make it this time. I'm not afraid of you, Sal. Are you afraid of me? No, I'm not. Uh, I just, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a hug. That's right, slurp for you and a hug. No, I'm good friends. We don't want to be afraid of each other uh, for sure. In fact, Barbara and I, you know, we have have our uh, little political disagreements, but we understand each other and we know uh, each other's hearts, and I think that's what's important. And um, I think more, Amer more Americans had that feeling there wouldn't be so much division that there is today, and I don't like that. Because she's right, there is a chokehold in the country right now, for sure. Certainly, cannabis, it's fun to be metal. Four bong hits and no fakes. It's also the best metal for making silver coins. That's right. Silver is the best metal for silver coins. I agree with that. That's awesome. Looking forward to 6 p.m. Thanks, Gary Ash. We are here. We're going to look at the markets here momentarily. Spook Spacey, maybe change your copy-paste comment to reply to. Click on the SM icon and join the live chat now. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see here. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that might be something to think about, something that could get people to get there now, but um, they're not knowing why, I'm, why I would say that. I want them to know that I'm re responding to their comment. You know what I'm saying? Metallic Miner, always good to see your great vids. Why is the Queen's innermost silver coins? Um, that might be a good topic. To cover um, in a future Silver Basics video. Thank you, Metallic Miner. Freedom Stacker, nice to get back to the basics. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Appreciate that, Freedom Stacker. All right. We all love you no matter what. Thank you, Mark B. Love you guys too. You're awesome. Stacking and packing. I, I love these times driving around with a mask on. NWA, F the police, blaming them, the stereo system, flipping in the uh, police while screaming. Down with the dictator, Don. All practicing social distancing. This new norm is uplifting for me. Yes, it sure is. Although I think I have offended stacking and packing over my Black Lives Matter stance. <clears throat> Yet he certainly uh, can, has a freedom to say what he wants. I hope he understands my freedom to say what I want too. And I hope he doesn't judge me for it. All right, what silver ain't the Lone Ranger's horsey? It's high ho silver, that's right. Okay. Gene Pullman says, our dollar will eventually play out due to runaway debt and deficit. This may be when silver could be called the gold was in the Great Depression and moved as a silver standard as the country's primary silver-backed currency. If the government did recall all silver and gold from the private sector, it could be the last resort to effort to stabilize a country's monetary system. All right. Well, I don't think that'll ever happen. Um, and I don't think people, if we, uh, you know, the one thing as, as technology increases, it's going to be some sort of digital currency probably is where we're going. 
Will that be backed by silver or gold? Potentially, or at least it may say it will, but it'll probably be like ETFs and go crazy, but, you know, and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll definitely, um, manipulate that or take advantage of it or what have you. Silver Hollick, gonna do some research on Electrum. I have a coin that I believe is Electrum, but I'm not certain. It's 59.5% gold and 40% silver. That probably is. I've never... I've not seen one with that kind of alloy out there. That's pretty cool that you have that coin, Silverholic. Would love to see that. Lone Silver, Stag. Great video. Helped out a lot. Thanks for your content. Thank you so much, Lone. This is the video, Negatives, Precious Metals, IRA. The Negatives of a Precious Metal IRA video. Silver and Gold. I hope it's all rigged and gold goes to one dollar i'd have to rent a u-haul it would be the best thing that happens to me all right very good let's uh, pause for a moment take a look at the markets again they're kind of just hanging out there again not a whole lot of activity silver is only down one cent uh gold is down four dollars and thirty cents just above a quarter point no movement at all since the last time so i'm going to come back to these channel comments we're going to take a look at the graphs here uh just momentarily here we're going to check them out Eric uh, Kaisel Whiskey says, bought mine Maple Leafs today, cannot help myself, addicted to AG. All right, very good, all right. Dark Stacker, my pleasure, Sal, you're the man. Okay, he saw that, the Magnificent Male Madness video. Dark Stacker saw it, thank you, Darth, appreciate it, thank you so much. Uh, Alan Gold just did full non-PC, what did he say, fudge packing. Uh, that's not politically correct, Alan. That's not politically, you got to be politically correct. If you're going to be on this channel, Alan Gold, you've got to be politically correct. Uh, Silverholic was shown in my last video. Oh, man. Uh, I must have, did I miss that one? Was that one of the gold, the, uh, was that one of the Canadian mint coins? I'll go back and check it out again. What was the name of the coin? Was that the two coins you showed? The two, um, um. You showed one that was a proof like and one that was a uh that had different gold content. Uh the Canadian ones. I forgot what the one was more proof like and one was uh was uh was uncirculated. You had two of the same one. I forgot what it was. Chuck Norris. More metal themed titles. I have some faith in Trump. I hope at a V shaped curve, but I don't think times will get much worse. Hopefully the Democrats end our curfews and stop spreading violence and disease. Thanks, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Indeed, Holy Wars. That's right, Holy Wars. Well, I'd love to be able to play that in guitar. What happened with the employment restaurant? Restatement. We have to re re employment restatement. I covered a video on that, uh, Steve Woods. I did a video on that uh, yesterday. Check it out. Okay, let's see here. Chris Garner is here. Hello, Chris Garner. Good to see you. I'm not PC. There you go, you prevent. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't want anybody to be politically correct here. Say what you what's on your mind. As long as you're respectful for, to other people here, I, I encourage people to speak their mind on any issue. All right, there we go. The second. Okay, the second, the, the uncirculated one, right, Silverholic? It's the uncirculated one that is... Uh, 14k gold and the balance of silver. Okay, that would be Electrum. I wouldn't, in my mind, I would think that would be Electrum. Chuck Norris, uh, oh man, Chris Garner, that would be nice. A Chuck Norris round uh, would be cool. With Chuck Norris jokes on it, that'd be cool. What's on my mind? Boobies. There we go, Darth. Carlos Danger says, great idea. There's a lot of people in the game. I learned a lot of core materials, so not something to go from parts of the package and things with quickly, very quickly, rather than screwing up early and lack of base knowledge. That's right. Always good to have a good foundation. And a lot of times you get it in dribbles. I thought I'd make a playlist of uh, as much of that information as possible, starting with this video. Mark Harmon, take off your rose-colored glasses and think. Do you really believe... That in the middle of a pandemic shutdown, we had the most new jobs ever. Wow, your position makes you look stupid. Well, the thing is, is um, uh, Mike Hammond, you uh, misrepresent my position. Uh, think about this, Mike, for a minute. Um, think about it very closely. 
When people get laid off of their job, they're counted as unemployed. And even if it's just a furlough, a temporary, you can apply for unemployment. When you rehire those people, that is a job. So they're coming back into the workforce, that is a new job created. So your comment makes you look stupid, Mike. I hope you come back to this um, uh, live stream so you can hear how foolish your comment was. That's the thing, people can be so rude um, and uh, think stuff like that. But the, the statistics are if someone has lost their job, temporary or not, and they're collecting unemployment insurance, that counts as, as unemployed. And then when they get rehired, that counts back as it added back to the number. So it's, it's totally ridiculous, that argument. And so other people have said that too. And I didn't understand why they would say that. It didn't make any sense. But anyways, Glockman555, I love silver and have a lot of it, but the money is in gold. Get a thousand ounces of silver, then move into gold, sit on the cash, buy the dip. It dipped on Friday. I would even say to get into gold before you get a thousand ounces, but that's just me. People have different views on that. Good to see Aaron Krause. Hello, Aaron Krause. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Yes, it's been a while since we've seen you in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The guy's gigging again. Not yet. Almost had a gig um, that was canceled last minute um, uh, a week ago. But yes, indeed. I do miss playing concerts. Holy Diver. Yes, indeed. Um, You can say fork. You can say fork. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see here. Jared W3, Megadeth, Lamb of God show scheduled for June 28th in Pittsburgh. Canceled. Me and Johnny were going to go. He's bumming. Oh, that sucks, man. That would be cool to see. Man, that would be. But I guess it's going to be a little bit before those come back. Stephen Mazur, I cannot resist. What is silver? Silver is the thin metal wrapper. They wrap chocolate coins in to stop them from getting messy as they melt. They also create gold coins the same way. They also grow great in a net bag hanging from a Christmas tree. Their tradition has been around for 5,000 years. Wow. Sal, sit on cash and buy the dip. Gold dipped on a Friday. Gold fell 30 plus. Always buy the dip. That's right. And I did take advantage of some of these little dips here. And I did that as well during that dip for sure. All right, more coming. All right, very good. Value Hunter, trade your silver certificates in while you can. Wait. All right. Dave's voice dropped a few octaves since that album. Yes, they sure have. It's dropped. Definitely has dropped. All right, we're going to stop it with the voice. Oh, man, the voice, the voice, the voice. All right, guys, we are bum rush time. And right as we go to the bum rush, look at that. Silver has flatlined, folks. That means it's, it's recovered its losses now. Uh, let's see what silver did here. Look at that chart here. Started out at this level, 17. Well, this is the bid price, but it basically has recovered. Went up a little bit right up there. There it is, flatlined, crazy, crazy. So that is silver. And uh, gold, what did gold do? Boom, still down, but just barely, just barely down, hovering above that 1680. Crazy, crazy, crazy train indeed. Crazy indeed. Sal, where can one buy silver Coke bottle caps at? I think Modern Coin Mart has those. Very expensive. It's like a sixth of a tenth of sixth of an ounce. And they're quite pricey. But hey, if you like them, there's like a whole collection of it. But anyways. All right. L LMAO. Hey, yo, that dude is obviously not understanding things right because I totally understand what you said. That man is funny, and so that comment, keep up the great videos and information. Well, thank you, LMAO. Appreciate it. You understood what I was talking about. Thank you very much. And I think the thing is, people, even if I was wrong about it, um, you know, to call someone names is just childish and, and ridiculous. So they deserve to be trolled back a little bit in that case.
All is one now is here. All right, very good. All right, you guys, you all leaving me. Everybody's taking off. All right, I'm going to probably take off too. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye, a multitude of gratitude and all that jazz. Multitude of all this, a multitude of all that. A multitude of this, a multitude of that. Dove season, have a good one. Take it easy, man. Rebel Stacker night. Bye, guys. all done we're done last somebody type last in for me say it's from me because i'm too busy playing guitar see ya. all right steve woods glad to be caught me on live all right nice No, never, 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 never. Bye, guys. See ya. Tell the stacking kid we're done. He's late, but it's all right. Thanks, stacking kid. See ya. Last for Sal. Thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>